international issue. With all due respect, I wish and hope that the Vice President of Ghana see this video and take some things into consideration and work on it. When we talk about digitalization, every citizen here in Ghana attribute that to the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia. There is something going on with this digital addressing system that attention must be given to that. I saw it and I thought that it's normal. Maybe that's how they do it. We have a group called Tell It Darks. I saw those posts in the group and people were complaining like the way I felt. We are not saying that the digitalized system is a bad thing. Before this digital addressing system came into existence, there are a whole lot of streets which has names already. You could see some names on the plates that they use for the digital address that will make you go crazy you will sit down and ask yourself how did they come about with these names what kind of country are we living in let's sit up in this country when we are venturing into something we need to be fully prepared his excellency dr mahmoud baumia please and please if this video reaches you know that Ghanaians are complaining about this digital addressing systems. They are giving names that are not in existence, names that are scary. We shouldn't just implement and just leave the people who have the contract to do whatever they are doing. Sing chow, sing chow, your boy Melo Day. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, kindly consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you become part of the Strive family and the Crooked Truth Court. If you're already a subscriber, as usual, I salute you, I salute you, I salute you, I salute you, I salute you. You are one of the amazing people in the whole world and I really appreciate you for the love and support you give to me on this channel. Like I always say, on this channel, you need to be sensible, you need to be smart, you need to be wise, you need to be intelligent, you need to be open-minded, you need to be reasonable before you understand what we do here. So that even if you disagree, you will use that sense over here to give an important comment without any insult. We try as much as possible to be truthful without any insult, without any attacks. If you are right, we tell you that you are right. If you are wrong, same way we tell you that you are wrong. We don't pamper anybody here. And on this note, I don't want peace. I want problems always. Yeah, so guys, this is it. When we come here, it means there is a case here that we need to look into. We need to observe it. We need to analyze it. Then we come out with our own, you know, um, opinion without any insult and without any attacks. You understand you over there can also give your opinion after watching the video without any insult and without any attack so this is it today we are in ghana we are talking about ghana some very important issue here in ghana it's a national issue that needs to be addressed and uh, with all due respect i wish and hope that the vice president of ghana will you know see this video and take some things into consideration and work on it like i said without any insult without any attacks now we all know that when we talk about digitalization everybody or every uh citizen here in ghana attribute that to the vice president dr mahmoud baumia yes his excellency He's been digitalizing a whole lot of things. And digital address system isn't an exception of that. Now, there is something going on with this digital addressing system that attention must be given to that. I saw it and I thought that, oh, maybe it's normal. Maybe that's how they do it. But we have a group called Tell It Darts. I saw those posts in the group and people were complaining like the way I felt. So I decided that I need to come and talk about it and send a message out that maybe we will be lucky and this message will reach Dr. Baumia so that he takes action 
concerning that issue. Now, we are in Ghana. And uh, before this digital addressing system came into existence, there are a whole lot of, you know, streets which has names already. We call them with specific names, some with local names, some with English names and those kind of things. But this is the issue. When this digital addressing system started, you could see some names on the plates that they use for the digital address that would make you go crazy. You will sit down and ask yourself, how did they come about with these names? I don't want to use any offensive word, but it doesn't really make sense. If you sit down and think about it, you don't know where they got that information from and how it correlates with what they are doing. You don't understand. This is a very worrying issue that people are talking about it so you know, so deeply that I don't know if the vice president has heard this. I will show you some things and some messages some people left so that we know how people are worried about it and how they are making complaints about it. Then we will discuss a whole lot of things. Then we give our own opinion and leave a conclusion about this. Let's watch this. Now, look, look at this. I don't know. This plate is HE281 Belkin Street. Now, with the uh, digital address number, that's the street name, Belkin Street. I don't know if the people who are in this, GS seems to be gas out. I don't know if they know of this street or they have this name on the street already. Now, let's check another one. H1 108 Nizan Street. I don't know where they got that name from. Now, HK 345 Space Street. I don't know where they got that name from. HI 295 Mazda Street. Just imagine Mazda Street. How did they come about this name? Now, K KZ 163 Ferrari Street. Just look at that. Just look at that. Now we have this HI 260 Mits, Mitsubishi Streets. <laughs> hey, Ghana. Now, KZ 133 Champagne Streets. So you ask yourself, how did they come about this name? People are asking questions. So I decided to go to the comment section of the TID or tell it that group that they posted this and see if people have some reasoning about that, if people are against this or they have some things to say. And this is what I saw. Now, Eto, Eto Namgu, okay, he said, just laziness on the part of those who got the contract to plot those addresses. Instead of going to the field to ascertain the street names, they just sat at the office and generated those chop chop as usual he's worried now hmm they only came to steal money through a scheme then someone also said through the people come they are confused another person Kwesi papa said i live in typical gang community somewhere in amasaman sadly every street here is called montero street not even one indigenous name so how did they come about those kind of names should we agree that they just sit in the office and just forge names for those streets? As I'm saying, we don't know. Now, Arizona streets in the Jumakun, Brofied. How? I was like, hmm, no comments. Now, good observation. I have always wondered if the person who created the names was having a running stomach. Ah, but I don't know why our leaders are refusing to think. In quotes. This can easily be done by local assembly, by our local assembly, or any individual. I don't even know what that clover is. Now, Kofi Obin Jemfi, all the streets in my town have one name according to this number plate. Just imagine. It means that shoddy work. People don't want to do hard work. Now, I went to a village in Assam and I found Cameroon Street. I was surprised. A village, Cameroon Street. So how come? What happened? Now, Barack, Barack's boy, Idi Jr. said, it's total madness, bro. 
in my area, you could see LID Street, Warsaw Street. Now, Mauli, the project was given to Coda. The streets were not mapped or named per the policy of the street naming guidelines. Just imagine, it's making sense. Funds were not released for execution of the project. They just used an app to generate the closest GPS on the plate and paste it on your wall. Ghana and Kasa, we really get work to do. So just imagine, he's also making sense. Maybe they used an app to just for the, G, the GPS and it gave them names that are ghost names. It makes sense. Now let's talk. We are in this country. We are not saying that the digitalized system is a bad thing. But our plight is that when we are venturing into something, we need to be fully prepared. We need to get ready for all the things that surround that project. We are in a country where they fix like street lights on the streets. And when the bulbs of the street lights go off, nobody cares again. Maintenance problem. When the street lights break and fall down, nobody cares. They leave it for it to rot. Yes, the initiative of putting a street light is very nice, very important. But the question is, why don't they maintain it? Why don't people or the people who were, you know, who put that light there, set eyes on them when they are deteriorating, they find ways and means to fix them. We are in a country where they bring up a, a food program, like school feeding program. And after putting the policy in place, they don't think about anything going on, whether it's a good policy, whether the policy they put in place is going on smoothly or people are just playing with it. They wouldn't pay the cooks of that project or that program. The cooks will use inferior foods and cook for the students and nobody cares about it. All they know is we've implemented, you know, school feeding program and they will make noise about it. They don't care whether it's going well or going bad. We are in a country where health insurance scheme, they will just, you know, put it in place. We've brought this project, health insurance project, and they don't care. If the, doc, if the hospitals are being paid their full you know, subsidies so that they take good action of the project. Some doctors will tell you that this drug does not, you know, does not cater. This, this drug, the health insurance does not cater for it. Some will say that the government has not paid us, so we are not accepting patients. All what the government think about is we've implemented the project or the program. What have, whatever happens, they don't care again. What kind of country are we living in? This is the same thing happening to this digital address system. They've put the project in place. That is it. They don't care whether the job the, the, the people are doing is moving on smoothly. They are putting things at the right place. They don't care. All they care about is we've given it on contract. Take your money then these people will just do anything that they want. They will just do anything that they want. Now, they've given street names. They've given street names. But we don't know if these street names are the actual names for those streets. Maybe those streets, all streets have names already. Now, we have Fried Rice Street. Now, some people will say somewhere and they will give that street Apple Street. So if someone is going there, and they are using, even, even the digital addressing system, I don't know if all works perfectly. Some you will follow it and you will go and you will lock her somewhere. And if you ask, I'm going to Fried Rice Street, nobody can show you there. Let's sit up in this country. His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, please and please, if this video reaches you, know that Ghanaians are complaining about this digital addressing systems. They are giving names that are not in existence, names that are scary, and this is not acceptable. Those places probably have their own local names, and things must be put in place so that those names appear on the plates. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia.
we shouldn't just implement that program and just leave the people who have the contract to do whatever they are doing. Check them. Put things in place to check those people if they are doing the right job or they are doing the wrong job. I am not the only one complaining. People are also complaining. Like I said, I saw it in our group. And this group, people are leaving comments to leave their plight. They are complaining. So it means that it's something which is worrying people and must be taken seriously. This is all what I have to say. Anyways, on here, we always strive for glory. We strive for success. We strive for travels. We strive for the truth. And today, we are striving for accurate work. When a project is put in place, we must make sure that it is done accurately and it must be inspected to see that things are being done the right way. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell so you become part of the Strive family. Leave a comment. Let us know what you also think about this. If me and the people in the group are getting everything wrong and we need explanation, please give us explanation so we understand. Like this video, let it go viral. Share the video for someone also to see. Or let's share on our various platforms so that it reaches Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. Then things will be done right. Your boy Melody, I'll see you in the next video. Caught rice. No more. If you know make money, friends go dog you. Nobody said we love you. You first step up your hustle. Cause one day you gonna make it. If you know make money, friends go dog you. Nobody said we love you. You first step up your hustle. Cause one day, cause one day. No you gotta love me now.